In his book of 1948, The Fine Art of Mixing Drinks, David Embury says of the Alaska cocktail that it could be greatly improved if you lower the amount of yellow chartreuse and add a few dashes of fino sherry. I highly agree with him because this cocktail is slightly on the sweet side for me. And I even went a little further and added a few ounces of dry sparkling wine to the mix to make it even drier, plus what's not good with bubbles, right? So today we're gonna make a Royal Alaska. If you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new cocktail video. So, the Alaska cocktail, any idea of what that is? Very simple, it's a riff on a martini. But if you think about it, if even in 1948, bartenders were trying to make it more balanced, I think this cocktail was created too sweet. And probably for that reason, it didn't get as popular as its cousins like the Martinez, the Gibson, or the Vesper, for example. So it got obscure and neglected. But with the comeback of herbaceous liquors like the Yellow Chartreuse, for example, I feel that many bartenders are trying to put back on their menu their own version of the cocktail. So I have no guilt at all of going a little far from the original version by adding a few ounces of dry sparkling wine to the cocktail to make it even drier. But anyway, I feel that this cocktail was created to be adjusted and probably also meant to be royal. So you will see, this cocktail is very simple. We will start by adding 1.5 ounces of dry gin to our mixing glass. half ounce of yellow chartreuse, quarter ounce of fino sherry, and two dashes of orange bitters. I'm using Angostura orange bitters. And now we can add ice to our mixing glass and give it a good stir for about 60 revolutions. Then we can strain it into our favorite cocktail coupe. And lastly, we're gonna add two ounces of dry sparkling wine. I'm using a dry Prosecco, but of course, if you have a good bottle of champagne at home, go ahead, it will be even better. And now for the garnish, we're gonna express some lemon oil on top of the cocktail. We're gonna make our zest pretty. And there you go, guys. This is how we make the Royal Alaska Truffles in the Rocks way. Now, let's give it a try. Mm. Okay, so yellow chartreuse is the star of the show in this cocktail, which I believe is very important because that's the only ingredients that is very flavorful in the ingredients lineup but usually that's also the reason why this cocktail is to my opinion too sweet but then it is dried with the dry gin dry sherry and dry sparkling wine a hint of orange bitterness and a lot of beautiful fresh lemon aroma i think that's gonna sound pretentious that's the best alaska i've ever had I'm sorry. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, guys. That's it for me today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Good day. Hello, Good afternoon. <laughs> Hmm.